So here, as you can see, I got a PDF document. And let's say I want to attach an audio to it. I can easily do that by go going over here onto the right side. I can click this triangle icon. And over here, you see an option for this media. If you do not see this, you can go to tools right here and then you can choose Ritz Media. You can also add this in right here. So I'm gonna click this. And once I do that, you can see that you get Ritz Media options. You can add sound, video, and so forth. So I'm going to add a sound. I'm gonna click add sound right here. And once I do that, I can select an area where I want my sound player to be in. So I'm gonna say that I'm gonna keep it right here. The sound player is going to be quite straight, so I'm just going to drag this area to be the sound. So now you can see that I can select the audio file. So I'm going to go to Browse right here. I'm going to go on to my Tutitube folder right here, and I'm going to select a sound that I have. So for that, I'm going to go into the audio folder right here, and you see there are a lot of uh, different sounds. So I'm going to go for it here, Anniversary, and I'm going to press Open. Once I do that, I can also show advanced options right here. So these are some options uh, for when to play the sound. So enable when the content is clicked or the page containing the content. So as you soon as you open up the file, the audio will start uh, playing. And the page con um, containing the content is visible, meaning if you scroll down and see the page where the sound player is, then it'll start playing. But I want to make it interactive, so I'm gonna leave it to the content is clicked. Disable when the content is selected from the context menu, when the page is closed it, uh, itself or not visible. I'm just gonna leave it to default. Again, depends on how you want to do it. So playback style is something you can choose as well. Play contents in a floating wi window, that is it will uh, open up another window right there. And play content on page keeps the content on the page itself. So I'm gonna leave it as it is as well. You can also add, it, add in a border. So let's say I want a medium border right there. I can also retrieve poster from media. So if I want to add in some posters to my audio, I can actually keep over here and it, it'll display an image. But in my case, I just want to leave it as it is. I just want a border and I'm going to press okay. Once I do that, you can see that there's the border right there. So you can close this out just like that. And there you go. So this might not work with all of the PDF readers, but it'll work with the um, Adobe Acrobat ones. So I'm just gonna click on this and it'll play the audio. And there's also a volume control. As you can see, I just pause the music. And this is how it plays the audio right inside. You can also forward this out and pause it, just like that. In order to disable this, you can simply right click and click on disable content, it'll pause the video. So you can right click and enable the content as well. Or go to properties to get back that editing options. So let me just uh, click on this to play it. Let me pause this. And right here, you can see that there are some other options right here. So the viewer has this option. So you can view this in a floating window. You can see that everything is in a floating window now. So no matter where you scroll it, the player will still be here. So I'm just going to go back right here. So I'm going to close floating window and I'm going to right click. You can also have this as a full screen multimedia. So I'm going to go over here, click on full screen. And then the audio player actually starts up. I can play this out. There you go. You wanna get out of full screen, right click, and then just click on L and full screen right here, and there you go. So that is how you can control everything up. So this is one way of uh, embedding audio to it. Another way is to actually record it. To record an audio and keep it right here, I, I have to go into the comments. So if I want to comment anything in the file, I can actually record the audio. So I went to comment and you can see on the top, there are some options. So you can see right here, there's an attachment icon. So let me just click on that. And here you can see there's an option to record audio. So let me just click on that. And once I do that, I'm gonna choose a space where I can keep my audio. So I can just go over here and click it. And there you go, you can see that the sound recorder appears. So let me record an audio. Welcome to TutorTube Lessons at your convenience. Stop it, press OK, and it'll ask me to choose an icon for this. So I'm just going to click on sound because I can also add an ear or microphone sound, any icon that I want. You can also choose the color right here. Let me choose green right here. And there are some other options right here. I can change the author, can change the subject of the sound and, this, um, and even the description. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. 
I'm gonna go into review history if there's anything that I want to change. But anyways, that's what I want, so I'm gonna press OK. So once I do that, you can see that sound clip is added uh, as a comment right here, another way to embed sound right here. So if you want to play it, just click on this right here. Let me just uh, close it. And over here, I can actually play this file. I can right click, I can play this file. Welcome to TutorTutu. Lessons at your convenience. All right, so you can see that this is how you can enable uh, the sound. So that's how uh, embedding audio files in Acrobat Pro DC works. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.